Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. We're continuing our journey through Acts and we're up to chapter 4. And what we're witnessing here is the explosion of the church, the gospel of Jesus being proclaimed by the apostles and many people being saved and added to the church. But what we see in this chapter today is that that doesn't come uh, without opposition. And we read in chapter 4 how Peter and John are um, opposed and are put before the council. They're put in prison overnight and um, the religious leaders and authorities want them to stop uh, preaching about Jesus and his uh, resurrection. But of course, they can't do that and they continue uh, to proclaim Jesus. And in fact, the opportunity of being before the council is just an opportunity to speak to them as well about the salvation that is found in Jesus. What we go on to see is really, I guess, the contrast between these earthly authorities, these religious leaders and the power and boldness that comes to uh, these everyday people who are the apostles. And that contrast we see right the way through um, chapter 4. One of the things that stood out to me is how the actions uh, of the religious leader leaders are based upon others' perception. They're saying, oh, show, how should we oppose what's going on here? And they, it's clear that they were afraid of... Uh, other people, how people in society in general would view them. By contrast, Peter and John, they're just bold. They're filled with the Holy Spirit and they don't care who opposes them, who speaks against them, what happens to them, thrown in prison or not. They're empowered. They have real authority that comes from being bold in Christ. And and that's really where they get to uh, towards the end of the chapter when they are praying, the, the disciples, the apostles all together. And one of the things they pray for is boldness. But notice, notice how they begin their prayer, Sovereign Lord. They realize that, that God is the one who is truly the authority. Whether earthly authorities oppose them or not or throw them in prison, it doesn't matter because God's in control. And they cry out, cry out to him and he fills them with power and uh, they can, it says they continue to speak the word of God with boldness. So there's a few things for us to um, take from this passage and really apply in our own lives. It could be that we're facing a difficult week this week or we ex have experienced opposition, whether that's because we're a Christian or just in general. Things are just hard. Well, this passage reminds us that um, having opposition doesn't mean necessarily we're doing things wrong. You know, why is life so hard right now? Am I doing things wrong? No, actually, sometimes following Jesus and living according to his path for us, it does mean opposition. But if we follow the example and the encouragement of the apostles here, we need to look beyond the immediate challenge and look up to God who is sovereign. Actually, he can work through all situations. He's the real authority here. And we can take encouragement from that. God invites us to see our situation according to his uh, per perspective. And actually, any earthly power or influence, whether that's uh, a boss at work or whether that's influential people in society or people that speak out against us, even family members or anything like that, well, okay, they might have power and influence, but we can actually know peace. No, actually, no, God's in control. He knows about the situation. He's going to find a way through. And we can draw strength from him, draw strength and boldness, not to shout people down and have an argument. That's not really what Peter and John do. They don't argue. They just say, all I know is Jesus. And they speak to people about Jesus and they follow the way of Jesus. People, Other people in our lives may have power and influence, but... This passage reminds us that God's favour and his blessing is on his people who choose to walk in his ways. And so that encourages us to live for him and to live lives and speak even with boldness and confidence, not in ourselves, but in Jesus and what he has done for us.